Hello everyone, Susi Gaming here and welcome back to Manor Lords. In this video, I'm going to provide you with the build order and additional tips for building and managing your town. Now, while I was editing this video, developer published upcoming update note, fixing all the homeless bugs, tuning the archer damage, they're going to buff the trait, slowing down the rate of AI claiming territories. That's a good decision because currently AI is very aggressive. Improving soap pit efficiency storage. So yeah, all of this were really obvious bugs and difficulties. That's why before game developers were hiring testers so they can test, uh, detect bugs and crucial mistakes early on so player base don't have to suffer at the beginning. I was so shocked during my gameplay walkthrough how many things were missing, how many things were broken. So yeah, this was the quick news. Enjoy the video. When you conquer in the territory, here's the build order. First, you want to get logging camp, hunter, and berry gatherer. Build the storehouse, granary. Put two workers here. Put one to these. Alright, now let's pop the carrot farms. There you go. Well, let's put it here. Let's drop a marketplace. Drop a carrot farm and expand living space. This will add additional family. So there will be two families inside this house. Carrot farm, additional family. Let's pop a few more houses, but this will be smaller ones. So drop them like this. We also need to start getting the stone, which is available in almost every region. Let's place it at the side of it. And you need to connect it to a road. Bada beam, bada boom. Drop a woodcutter's latch. This will provide firewood, so it's basically fuel. Saw pit for planks. We can take one dude out of the logging camp and put him to saw pit. Press tap to see who's working. Okay. I see that we don't need food for now. So let's just pick one dude out of hunting cap until these two houses are complete. We're gonna get manpower soon. Alright, here is our house. Family joined the house. Now we can send the hunter back to his place. Let's place the church like this. We have enough stone. 70 is enough. I'm calling the stone cutter dude back. And putting him to soul pit. Don't forget guys, this method might get old as soon as developer updates the game because currently farms are extremely useless, so he might change that. Let's put some manpower here. Eventually you might want to upgrade your storehouse. It will increase the amount in 10 times. Yeah, let's place a manor. As you can see, it's ready. Like this. Should be enough. Commit. As soon as you open the manor. Get the strict fasting. Citizens skip every fifth meal. Reduces food consumption. Decreases approval. Garrison Tower. It snaps next to the manor. Commit. Now you're gonna be able to increase your retinue size to 24. By spending personal 
treasury. There we are. Well, as you can see, it's bugged. You don't even need to complete the construction. Just immediately get your 24 man dead squad. That was the build order in Manor Lords. If you're starving, just place more carrot houses. You can get food from your other regions by placing a pack station here. And you can also place a trading post to get regional income. Sell the planks. This is the easiest income. And it's cheap to establish a trade route. And after you have income, upgrade your houses, build chicken coops. And yeah, that's how you quickly establish a town in Manor Lord without fuel and food starvation. So for your main town, I suggest you to go uh, for this two first. Ignore these because I basically stopped using farms and it works just fine. You can get overwhelming amount of carrots. This method might get nerfed. Farms are currently bugged. They're not efficient as carrot farms which is available in regular houses. These are the two most important ones. And after that, don't forget to put this one to any other town, not to all of them. To single region, it should be enough. Does this thing reproduce? You can endlessly sell them or you can sell their wools. These two are essential. It gives additional income. So a yeah, primary food source in this game is for now carrot i don't know what happened to the farms they're not efficient anymore so yeah i just use this for barley and also when you're building this farms make sure to build them like this select a really large area then turn it towards the road and reduce it to like until it's this size one or two i usually do it like this too as you can see this is a normal house building but when you decrease it enough in one building you can store two families a little icon like this will pop up that means that two families can work in this farm in the scared farm eventually you're gonna have so much resource you just want to trade everything sell everything that is useless as you can see i'm exporting iron slab yarn that is gathered from sheep. Also make sure to get this ability as well. Sheep breeding. They will reproduce by themselves. First you need to buy them from the livestock trading post. Then they will reproduce with that perk. Unfortunately, like any other games, you cannot kill these and eat them. They do not provide meat, which is a shame. Same thing for the chickens, you cannot kill them. And yeah, that was it. If this video was helpful, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe and share. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.